And what is shocking for someone who spent 24 years as a judge is that he's perfectly willing to be complicit with a left-wing violent mob threatening the lives and families of the justices because he supports their political agenda. That is incredibly dangerous. Merrick Garland, I believe, is the most partisan and politicized attorney general our nation has ever seen. And what is happening at the Department of Justice is, is heartbreaking because it is turned into the political weapon for the Democrats to attack their enemies and protect their friends. And, and it, is, it is astonishing. Look, Garland he spent all day before the Judiciary Committee in testimony. He will not answer a straight question at all. And he looks at you, number one, you know, we were talking about Fauci and supreme arrogance. You know, Merrick Garland can compete in that category with Fauci, and that's impressive. Garland, that's hard to do. That's when you're going pro. Garland looks at you like, how dare you ask me a question? And the guy was a judge for 24 years. And, and you look at that hearing. So, for example, what we were talking about, as you guys know, when the Dobbs opinion uh, was released, when it was leaked, um, hundreds of left-wing protesters, radical left-wing protesters, went to the homes of six Supreme Court justices and engaged in angry, violent protests. And by the way, left-wing groups were not only giving the, out the home addresses of justices, they were giving where the justices worshiped, what churches they went to, they were giving where their kids went to school. And angry protesters at your home when your kids are sleeping in their bedroom is inherently threatening. There is a statute, 18 U.S.C. Uh, 1571, that makes it a crime, a federal crime, to protest at the home of a judge in an effort to influence the outcome of a case. It's the same, it's similar to jury tampering. You can't go to a juror's house and protest to try to get a not guilty verdict. This Department of Justice refuses to enforce the law. And it was clear for that hearing that Merrick Garland's political staff had written one sentence. This is your political talking point. The marshals decide whether or not to arrest someone. That's true, there were marshals there, and the marshals didn't arrest someone. But under our system of justice, marshals are essentially police officers. They have zero prosecution authority. The only prosecution authority in the federal law is in the Department of Justice with the prosecutors. Merrick Garland is the one who made the decision. We're not going to prosecute here. And by the way, these numbnuts put up pictures of themselves on social media. We're not yeah. talking master criminals. <laughs> They've confessed to the crime. They could be found easily. But Merrick Garland agrees with the protesters. He doesn't like the Dobbs decision. He supports Roe versus Wade. And what is shocking for someone who spent 24 years as a judge is that he's perfectly willing to be complicit with a left-wing violent mob threatening the lives and families of the justices because he supports their political agenda. That is incredibly dangerous. Yeah, and let's, let's, let's take stock for just a second of who Merrick Garland has gone after and who he's refused to go after. He's gone after a pro-life father of seven at his home, arrested him like a hardened criminal. Yep. He's gone after parents peacefully protesting at their children's school board meetings. He's had the FBI investigate traditional Catholics as being domestic terrorists, and he won't use the Department of Justice to go after people who are harassing the children of Supreme Court justices. The guy is a disgrace. He needs to go.